Okay, so about after 50 games of this new split, uh, ADC is terrible. Okay, um, you know, you hear it all the time. Oh my ADC is complaining again. Like, go, you gotta, like, if you don't play ADC, go play five games right now. Let me know how you do. And uh, ADC mains in here, you know what it's like if you've played any amount of games on the new patch. You are probably depressed. So I'm here to help you guys be undepressed, okay? So this is what you need to do. This is, is going to be my tier list for this patch after playing like 50 games um, in a row. And uh, it's pretty clear to me what the meta is and why it's like that. So first, let's explain the meta, okay? So right now, the way I think you should play ADC is you need to be a static Shiv Roomba bot. Oh, your job is to literally just clear the wave and play for KDA. Your job, actually, not even play for KDA. It's don't feed the top jungle or mid. Nobody cares if you die to their bot lane, but everybody cares if you feed the mid roaming or the jungle ganking or, God forbid, top TP behind you in your lane, okay? You cannot die to that. That is the first priority. Fuck your minions. Go down 50 CS if you have to. Just dying is the most important thing. Not dying. Sorry, I should say. Not just not dying is the most important thing, okay? Um, so that being said, the only people who don't have to, who are playable without a, without cosplaying a static shift Roomba, um, they are special cases that, that are just OP right now, okay? Or not maybe not OP, but like playable in certain situations, okay? So that being, for example, the, the biggest offender is Kog'Maw. If you're playing Kog'Maw and you can hit something, you are automatically S plus tier because you can play a Bork, Rageblade, Terminus, whatever, and then like just win the game by auto attacking the close guy. It's insane. If you can hit somebody with Kog'Maw, you're going to win the game. So if you can play against like a melee support, or like a tank jungler with a like low pressure lane, you can just pick Kog'Maw. But the thing is, you can't pick Kog'Maw if they are playing something like Jin Zerath. You just you just can't lane, right? So you can't lane in that case. But if you can lane Kog'Maw S plus tier, <clears throat> um, so yeah, let's just go through the ADCs and I will put them in the tier list um, based on that information. Oh, and also all mages are S plus tier. Okay, because they are static shift rumors without having to buy static shift, they can instantly clear the wave with their abilities, right? And they can help skirmishes in the first 20 minutes of the game with their CC. Okay, so uh, here's like a pattern I'll show you guys. Brand has EQ stun, Syndra has stun, Lux is bind, Vigor is cage, Karth is wall into ulti, Swain has his pull, Hui has his fear, Hui has his ground pull thing. Um, Seraphine has root, Seraphine has ulti, Ziggs is Ziggs, Omega push the wave into minefield up your mom's asshole, okay? So mages are broken because they are natural static shiv Roombas and they can help skirmishes. And then you'll notice why can't every ADC build static shiv? Some ADCs when they build static shiv cannot help skirmishes. Let's use, for example, Misfortune. You build Misfortune, you build Static Shift, your congratulations, you are Roomba, but a fight breaks out and you ER, you do no damage. Okay, you're not you're not helpful at all, right? Um, whereas Jin can root someone by being a Static Shift Roomba or even OT to help, or Kaiser can all in with Static, pretty OP, right? Um, Ash can OT someone with Static, Ash can Hawkshot, still be useful with Static. Everyone else, garbage. So with that being said, let's go through the tier list. Fearless, don't pick anything in D tier is unpickable. Do not pick unless you intend to lose the game okay a tier adcs that are playable uh ash is a static shiv user static shiv roomba you go static shiv kraken after that who fucking cares right um but i've seen like bt wits i've seen apparently a hex play third is crazy according to some people um you're just a roomba okay you're a support you're not here to do damage you're here to help your top jungle mid get fed and not feed enemy top jungle mid okay Brand S tier, W either wave, enough said. Caitlyn, uh, unpickable technically, but um, we'll put in C for fun. Cassio, sure, I haven't seen any, but honestly, probably good. This is unpickable. This is pickable if you're a Draven main. Let's just put Caitlyn in D tier. What are we talking about? This is pickable if you're Dragdar, um, Heimerdinger, um, Jin is Static Shift Roomba, or there's another uh, Jin build running around from Korea. Dark Harvest, Ghost Blade into Lethality, usually Opportunity or Collector. And you kind of just build all the lethality items. I mean, I don't think anyone's building IE. Just build all the lethality items. Be useful. You're 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 a fake ADC. 
you're just a mage with 80 lethality items. Okay, you're you're you. That's that's what Jinx is. Okay, um, Jinx, don't pick this shit. It's terrible. I know Jinx picked a lot. You guys are like, oh my god, Kraken and PD or like IE Yonta, like that. It's all garbage. Okay, like maybe you can do something with collector opportunity. But let's be honest, if you are not meeting the criteria for Static Shift Roomba, you are not able to play the game. Okay, Jinx also can't really help her team. It's more like her team helps her. Um, <clears throat> her like if you build, you can build static shift on Jinx, but if you're going static cracking on Jinx, which is what people are doing nowadays in desperation, you should have just picked Jin, Ash, or Kaisa, right? So don't pick this shit. Even though it's highly picked, you should be picking one of these or a mage. Same with this guy. Don't pick this. I mean, this this is actually like Kogma, like kind of like a fake Kogma, but it requires hands to play. So it is pickable, but these are these these are like high skill medium reward. Would not recommend unless you're a one trick. Okay, this is this is this is stupid. This guy is actually S tier if you can pick it. Otherwise, don't pick him. Right? We'll just put him in S. Um, Lucian only with Lucian Nami, and you have to have hands. So yeah, I mean, I would just not even bother. I'm not gonna lie. Don't pick this. I don't know how to judge Neela. I'm not gonna lie, but probably don't pick this. This is not a champion. Don't pick this. This is broken. Don't pick this. This is broken. This is broken. Don't pick this. Don't pick this. Don't pick this. Uh, this is playable. Um, <clears throat> Bork Rage Blade Terminus actually pretty good. Would recommend if you can lane with it, but does require hands. This is broken. Don't pick this. This is broken. Don't pick this. And this is broken. Okay. And then that's literally all you have to do this patch if you want to climb is literally just pick Ash, Jin, Kaisa, or Mage. That's it. Okay. If you don't want to be cringe, you can attempt one of these guys. Uh, Draven, if you're a Draven main. Uh, Ezra, if you're a drag dog. Callista, if you have hands. Vayne, if you have the counter. Um, besides that, don't pick it. Don't, that, that's it. Those are your, that's your, those are your, uh, these are your options. Unironically, these are your options. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you, 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 your job is to literally not feed topside and is to clear the wave and AFK and wait for something to happen. You are not trying to interact with the enemy team unless it's the bot lane, okay? You cannot interact with solos. Like, like imagine you're playing Jin, you come out of lane with a lead and you meet Syndra. Oh, instantly dead, right? Uh, let's say you come out of lane with a lead and you meet Ka Oh, you're instantly dead. Like, Camille, oh, instantly dead. Like, how many times have I, have you been? Okay, here's an example. I was like three levels up, two items up on Jin. Whole team is feeding. How close is the game? Not even close, right? Even though I had a two item lead on the enemy ADC and a three level lead, literally, you cannot play the game by yourself. You need some situation to happen that's playable for you to be able to capitalize on it. And oftentimes you cannot start said situation because you're just ADC and you're not playing Camille. You're not playing like Fiddle or Nocturne or any proactive champions. You're playing kind of like a reactive defensive kind of like uh, role that can't start shit. Sometimes you can start shit with Flash. Bait mid, sure. Oftentimes you're just losing Flash when Camille roams to your lane and it allows your Renekton to breathe for 30 seconds. But five, you know, two minutes later before your Flash is back up, oh, now I can't push mid wave because Camille, once again, has the push in the side lane and it's coming mid again, right? You cannot do shit. Your job is to pray they don't get so or barren before you can get your items, okay? And these, this, 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 this is what you need to play, okay? If you attempt to play any of this, okay, don't try, don't try. If you want to try Kaylin, it has to be collector opportunity into LDR IE. I don't think there's an exception unless your name is Metro Archer. He's doing Halo Blades, Hubris, LDR IE. But uh, I think he's just built different, okay? And with Jinx, this this I would not even uh, try. I would not even attempt this champion anymore. I'm sick of this champion. You just fucking stand there and die over and over again. Like, I, I, don't pick this champion. I don't think he's very good, even though it's third most picked right now. This champion only Lucian, Lucian, and uh, Lucian Milo, Lucian Nami. Otherwise, don't even bother. Never, 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 never. Uh, I tried, but also never and never. Okay, so basically, spend your time learning a goddamn mage. Because that's what Riot Games wants you to do. You want a brainless mage? Brand? Ziggs? Maybe Vagar? Where's Lux? Lux should be on here. Lux is crazy right now. Um, brainless mage. Spam abilities on the wave. Skirmish happens. Fight with the team. Okay? If you don't want to, if you want to play ADC, Ash, Jin, Kaisa, build static, Shiv, kill the minions. If a fight happens, skirmish with the team. Anything else? Good luck. Okay? That's the tier list right now. Um, yeah, if you don't. <clears throat> if you try and play anything, see him below. 
can't help you. There will be games where you literally couldn't have done anything. Sucks, bro. Um, at least with these champions, you can kill minions. So, yep. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys what you guys think. Hopefully, hopefully this gives you guys direction in terms of how you should be playing this patch. Remember, um, you should be playing for KDA. Do not feed top jungle mid. Number one priority. If you die one time to them, God forbid you give a shutdown, then you deserve to lose. Okay, that's that's your mindset. All right. If you die to them for free, you deserve to lose. Okay. Um, yeah. Good luck in your games. Let me know how they go.